Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we are doing part one of my Captain America 3D printed helmet. This is printing on my brand new CR10 because it's gonna let me print these helmets all in one piece instead of individual pieces and fuse them together. But I still have my Ender 3 Pro here printing some uh, supplementary parts. Right now I am printing the stand for this helmet as you can see right here, here is the base of it. I uh, It is from Sentinel Props. If you haven't checked them out, I'll put the link in the description. They make fantastic stands for helmets. Check them out. But as you can see, it is almost done. We are almost at two days on this thing. And once it's completed, we'll go ahead and get started on it. All right, I was dumb and forgot to turn on my camera, but uh, here we are. I started uh, sanding this helmet down. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick pass through of it to try to get some of the material down, but some of these thicker ridges right here are a little hard to do by hand and it is kind of dumb to try to do it by hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my palm sander, I'm gonna do a really quick once over to get some of this material off and then we will start with the wood filler. So let's go ahead and do some of that right now. All right, so pretty quick pass through. Really what I'm focusing on is that top part with the really thick lines, and then we'll go ahead and start with the wood filler. Okay, here we go. So you'll notice it was pretty quick. I didn't do a super thorough job. Really, I'm just focusing on the top here. Um, and I went a little over uh, right there and kind of got rid of that line, but like I said, super quick. And now we're gonna go ahead and use the wood filler. I like to use this Elmer's brand wood filler. And if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, when I use the wood filler, it looks a little clumpy. This is a brand new bin, so it this is the way it's supposed to look, very viscous and watery. Not watery, but more slimy. Um, and we're just gonna cover the whole thing to fill in those layer lines. And then we will go ahead and let it dry so look at this this is what it looks like completely covered now what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry overnight you do not want to rush that part so let's see what it looks like tomorrow all right here we go as you can see all nice and dry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a tool and try to recarve some of this detail um, and we'll go ahead and sand it to try to get it as smooth as possible and uh, we're gonna end up doing this a couple times anyway, so it does not have to be perfect this round, but we are gonna try to get as much of that material off and try to get it as smooth as we can. I'm gonna take this file and try to work on some of these rougher areas where the supports left a pretty uh, substantial lines here. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, I got most of it off, but I'll probably have to redo that. I carved, I recarved some of this detail, which looks pretty good. You can still see the layer lines, but you can't really feel them. And here I went ahead and went through and did some more of that carving for those details. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit it with that two in one filler primer. All right, we're gonna hit it pretty thoroughly. Make sure you get it into the little lines. Um, so we can get a nice even coat on it. All right, and this is what it looks like freshly primed. Still looks a little wet. We are gonna let this dry overnight because again, you don't wanna rush this. You wanna give it its time to cure properly. And once it does, uh, we'll go ahead and start the sanding. So let's wait till tomorrow. All right, nice and dry. We are gonna go through. I'm gonna sand this. I am gonna take my tool once again and recarve those areas for the detail. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and do this several times. So again, doesn't need to be perfect, but we'll go ahead and start the sanding process on this guy. There we go. Looking and feeling pretty good, nice and smooth just like that. Okay, there we go. I think it looks, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, we are going to go ahead and try to sand some of this rougher area, but like I said, we're gonna do this several times. So next time I'll probably hit it with another coat of that filler primer and then sand it again. 
All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications, and we will see you next time.